y'all, it is officially here. Buzzsprout is offering you, yes, you, as a podcast host, the opportunity to promote your show using their Buzzsprout ads feature. We're going to dive into it today, so let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I'm so excited about this brand new Buzzsprout feature. Y'all know I love Buzzsprout. I have so many videos. You can go check them out here. Go check out the entire Buzzsprout playlist of all the amazing things that this company has done for content creators. But today, I'm so excited because now you have the opportunity as a podcast host to run ads on other Buzzsprout podcasts. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this because people will often come to me and say, do Google ads or Facebook or Instagram ads, TikTok ads, do they work for podcasters? And I have been hesitant to invest a ton of money in podcast ads on social platforms or even in Google ads because I don't think that it's as much of a captive audience as it is if you were to run ads that are on independent podcast players, but this goes above and beyond that. So I'm going to dive into what Buzzsprout ads are. So let's just, let's just go to the computer and I'm going to show you all the things. So there are a few things you need to know right off the bat. First of all, I'm a proud partner and affiliate. I'm actually a Buzzsprout creator and I have been with them since day one. It's the only podcast hosting platform that I endorse because it's the only one I've ever used and I love it so much and it keeps getting better. They roll out new features all the time that are beneficial to podcasters and so they're they're just amazing. You can try them out for free for 90 days by going to crystalprofit.com forward slash buzzsprout. But I wanted to share with you, they do have a help article on their website that you can go check out. I'm gonna link to it in the video description that talks even more in depth on all the cool things you can do with ads. So I wanted to make sure I threw that out there at the beginning. That way you can go and look at all, like answer all the questions, right? Because I'm sure you'll have questions. I don't have all the answers. This is still in the beta process. And I've seen behind the scenes, like what they were doing, like it was really cool to be part of the beta rollout. But now they are out of that initial phase and this is available. Yeah, if you're a Buzzsprout user right now, you can use this feature and I'm going to talk about how you can start running ads. So I'm going to go to another site that you need to know. So let's go there now. Okay, so this is the actual ad creation platform. Just go to buzzsprout.com forward slash ads. And this is where you're going to create an ad for your podcast. Y'all, this is so fun. Like I get giddy about this because this is giving you the ability to promote your podcast on other podcasts. Now, I wanna make it very clear that this is a feature that is only available for Buzzsprout users. So you can't run ads, like you couldn't run ads on my podcast on one specific platform, like Apple or Spotify or anything like that. But if you are another Buzzsprout user and you're like, I really wish that I could run an ad and it would show up on Crystal's podcast, well, this is how you can do it. You can create an ad that will be distributed to a lot of other podcasts. And quick disclaimer, Buzzsprout will never, ever, ever put anything on your podcast that you have not selected to do so. So don't think, oh my gosh, they're gonna start running other podcast promotions. They don't do that. This is something that you have to opt into and you have to sign up for their podcast monetization to be able to run ads on your show. More on that later. That's not what this video is about. It's all about creating an ad for your podcast. So once you go to buzzsprout.com forward slash ads, you have to have a 40 second promotion audio click. Quick, 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 quick fact check. Um, they will not accept anything over 40 seconds. I actually <laughs> created an audio clip right before I started recording this video. It was 42 seconds. And then there was one that was 45. And I was like, it's okay. Like, it's it's fine. I'll sneak it in there. No, you won't. Okay, it's got to be 40 seconds. It has to be between 12 and 40 second audio clip. I'm going to show you what I created here in a second. And then there are plans for you to reach up to 5,000 people for $100. If you're a Buzzsprout user, like fun fact, like there's a little, I have all the fun facts today. I don't know why. But 
there is actually a discount that we're gonna talk about here in a little bit. So you can get started for actually even cheaper than $100 totally worth it. And your podcast can be distributed into their directory of over a hundred thousand podcasts on the Buzzsprout network. Now, does this mean that your episode or your clip of your promotion is going to be on all those shows at once? No, that's not what this means. It just means that it gives you access to over a hundred thousand different podcasts that could say, oh yeah, I, I like this. I like this vibe. I will absolutely promote this podcast on my show. So uh, you can kind of go down and see some other testimonials of, you know, some of the different shows. You can actually click on these and listen to examples of how people created them. I'm going to show you exactly what mine sounds like. But if you wanted to get uh, more information on what can I say in my show or in my little show promotion, then uh, I would definitely go listen to these because they're all really, really good. And then... You know, there's more uh, really cool stuff on here, but I love this. It's two cents per download. Now, to be clear, this is the download of your promotion, not guaranteeing that your podcast will get those downloads, okay? So let me say that one more time. The two cents per download is per ad. This is per ad is downloaded, you're paying two cents, not you're paying two cents for downloads for your podcast. I think that that was something that the team has made sure to make super, super clear. You're not buying downloads for your show. Like I'm not going to pay money and then see an increase on the profit podcast. Like, oh, I bought, you know, 10,000 downloads. That's not what this is. And if there are promotions out there that do that, please don't sign up for them. That's not, that's not a way to grow your audience authentically. That growth won't stay over time. So that's my little disclaimer on bots and buying downloads and subscribers, all those things. I'm not on board with that. So uh, let's go down. And then, so what's really cool is there is a really awesome feature and I'm like, I, I'm so nerdy. I want to know how they actually do this, but there is a mid roll placement that happens because technology is amazing. I don't know how they do this, but what will happen is your audio clip, the ones that, that's between 12 and 40 seconds will get placed in a very significant spot on the podcast that accepts your ad onto their show. Super cool technology. I'm gonna show you uh, what this looks like on my own podcast because I'm running ads on my show. But uh, you can find listeners that are interested in your same topic because what will happen is these will be played on other podcasts in the categories that you choose. And I would like to be smart is run them on shows that are in your same category. That way you know that that audience is already interested in what you're gonna talk about on your podcast. Uh, privacy focus, y'all, we're not, we're not looking at all your stuff. There's no like creepy stuff that's going on behind the scenes to really track people's data and information. Buzzsprout is very much against that. Check out their podcast, Buzzcast. Go listen to them. They're hilarious. It's amazing. I've been on the show a few times and I just love that they're very transparent about they don't want to be the creepy people that are keeping all the stats on their audience and their listeners. They don't do any of that. Okay, I've done enough talking. Let's go actually into the Buzzsprout Ads platform and I'm going to show you how you can create your own ad. So when you're on this page and you click start creating ads, you will be sent to this page that has you sign up. If you've never created an ad, you will likely be logging in with your same Buzzsprout information, but um, you can go ahead and you know create an account or log in. Since I already have an account, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And this is what it looks like whenever I get to the dashboard. Now, I already have an ad running because I wanted to test it out before I created this video so I knew exactly how to walk you through the steps. But now we're gonna walk through what it looks like to create an ad. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says create ad. And this is what's really cool. So this is why I recommend having your 40 second clip recorded before you do this, because you're gonna have to upload it in this process, but you can change so many different things. It already populates my podcast artwork and I mean, that's what people need to see because if they go from listening to your promotion on another show to going to your podcast, that's like, it needs to be a seamless process from what you're sharing to what you're telling them to go do. So I have, my headline is The Profit Podcast. I mean, you could put something else catchy here if you have a catchphrase, but 
I recommend just putting exactly what your show is. I made this mistake in the beta rollout. I wrote something about create content with confidence, but it wasn't really in alignment as much for people to know exactly what it was. So I like just having the name of my podcast right here for the headline. Then for the description, I went and grabbed a few of the keywords and phrases that I use in my podcast information. So you can go watch this video right here if you're not sure how to set up your Buzzsprout account to create a podcast because I share with you how I create all the description that goes in there and we'll actually circle back to that here in a second whenever I tell you how I created the audio for this. But then uh, your headline link. Now, this is really important. I like to send people to my website. I know, I mean, they already included my Apple URL and a link to Spotify, but I like to have the link go to my website and I have a specific podcast page on my site. You can watch this video right here all about creating a website for your podcast. I think it's really important that you get that traffic to your website so you can take advantage of lead generation, getting people on your email list, have them connect with you in other places and so on and so forth. So uh, from there, I'm just gonna click continue. And then this is when you're going to drag and upload that 40 second audio clip. Now you can see on here, it says no profanity. So if you are someone that likes to use adult language in your podcast on a regular basis, that's fine. I'm not here to judge. I listen to lots of podcasts that have lots and lots of very colorful language, but I do think that in your ad, you shouldn't have any profanity. Totally agree with this because it's going to be kind of jarring if all of a sudden, you know, in my show, I'm listening to something, you know, I'm listening to a podcast and then, oh my gosh, they're just dropping F-bombs left and right. That's not cool, especially if that's not what you signed on for. So leave that to your colorful language in your own podcast, but I'm gonna go and upload the audio file that I'm gonna use for this ad. Okay, so once it's uploading, it's actually in the process of processing this in the background. I'm gonna click continue. Okay, now from here, this is when you can get a little bit more specific, a little bit more targeted on who your audience is going to be because these demographics will align with the other shows that are in the Buzzsprout directory. So for me, I just wrote all because my podcast appeals to people of all ages that are content creators. For sex, it's all like male and female. That's totally fine. And then profanity, it defaulted to mild. And I think that's because my show has had a few explicit episodes, but typically we don't have a lot of profanity on the show. Mild is fine. I'm not afraid of that because if someone were to come to my show and say, oh my gosh, like there was one cuss word and I just never, I could like, I, I don't, okay, mild is fine. And then for categories, like I said, these default to the three categories that I chose for the Profit Podcast, and th these are totally fine. Like I want them to be distributed to an audience that is for education, how to business entrepreneurship and business marketing, because that's where my show is, makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna click continue. And then this is where it gets really fun. I have to like throw it out there. I don't know how long these prices will be this way, but when I clicked in here and saw that they were all at a discount, y'all, I love a good deal. I love a good deal. So when I saw that it was normally $100, but it was down to 70 for 5,000 downloads, uh, yeah, I was excited. But what I actually signed up for is the 10,000 download plan and it was $140. It's normally 200, but I was like, you know what? I love a good deal. I'm going to try this out and I want to see what's happening. So you can expect a follow-up video after all this is done. I'm going to tell you how it performed, but okay. So from there you can choose your plan. Let's say you want to do 5,000 though. So let's click on that and go to continue. All right. And so here we are. This is what my ad is going to look like. So like, here's exactly what it looks like. And then from here, I could play the audio clip of what is in this ad and then review my target audience. If I wanted to change any of that at this point, I could do that. And it says, uh, you know, sit tight, only one ad running at a time. So 
I actually can't show you the completion process of this because I already have another ad running. No big deal, it's gonna save everything. I am just gonna go back to my main page. I'm gonna delete this, I know. I'm gonna delete everything that I just did, it's okay because I wanna show you the ad that is running. So I'm gonna click on this, and then it says it is matching ads for my download. So once you pay, and you know you do the whole checkout process, and you put in your credit card, you pay, then this is what is happening, and it says, in more competitive categories, which it is, business, marketing, entrepreneurship, all of those are very competitive categories. It may take a few days to place these ads. That's okay because I am guaranteed 10,000 downloads of my ad. Again, of my ad, not getting 10,000 downloads on my podcast. But again, it's gonna have all the information. It has my audio file, it has the text, it has my target audience, and it shows that I have 10,000 downloads. Now, I know you're asking the question, Crystal, what did you say in this audio file? I don't know where to start. How do I shorten it to 40 seconds? Maybe you're long-winded, like me, it's totally fine. It actually took me five or six tries to record this ad because it was too long. I told you earlier, it was 42 seconds, it was 45 seconds, and then I added music behind it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is not working. Here is what I did. So I'm gonna take you into the Profit Podcast, and if you go over to Podcast Info and go down to your podcast description, this is what I was talking about earlier. So if you go to my show, this is what you're going to see. I recommend starting here. So go to your podcast description, do a copy paste and put that in a Google Doc or in a notes tab or in your Asana and pare this down to something that you can say in 40 seconds. And I'm actually gonna pull up Asana that I created for this video today and show you the end script and then I'll play the audio file for you. So this is my Asana file for this video today, but it also has the ad. So the ad here looks very similar to my description that I had, but I pared it down to make it shorter. So whenever I'm saying it, it's something that isn't way too long. So I'm actually gonna play the audio file for you now so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. Are you thinking about starting a podcast, launching a YouTube channel, or repurposing your old blog content? Then I have the podcast just for you. Hi, I'm Crystal Prophet, host of The Prophet Podcast. And as a content creator, I know firsthand what it's like to feel confused and overwhelmed with everything you could or should be doing. So join us every week as we strip down those processes and take all of that overwhelm away. We'll talk about the strategies I use to help creators start, launch, and market Market their content with confidence. If that sounds like something you're on board with, then click the link in the show notes and follow the Profit Podcast today. Okay, so super simple, right? And I love this so much because again, Buzzsprout is supporting other creators. And I just love that they're kind of raising everybody that's in their community up to the point of getting other people's shows in front of a new audience. And it's just, it's so fun. I cannot wait to see how this experiment goes. I will absolutely follow up with another video and I'm gonna show you how you can monetize your podcast as a podcast host that wants to have some of these ads played on your show. But tell me in the comments, what questions do you have? I'm sure you have so many. Let me know if you have questions about running ads or what to say or categories or anything else related to the brand new Buzzsprout ads feature. Tell me in the comments below. But that's all I have for you today. So make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe below if you have not already so you can check out some of our awesome videos right here all about creating content with confidence. and. As always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.